All right, welcome back to the Triple Soul Link. Following weeks of technical difficulties, we are once again uh, functional. So we got a bunch of catches to do today. And they're going to technically be pretty boring. Hey, Jesse, are you in Sand Jam, right? Yeah, I went in Sand Jam, went into the lab. Rowan said a bunch of things. I mashed through it because I can't be fucked to read. <laughs> I want you to exit the lab and then go to the far right side and then test something for me. Okay. You see where the, the road ends and then the sand begins? Yeah. Run down through that and tell me if your fucking emulator speeds up. Oh, yeah. No, I've been having that happen all the time. Is it just sand that does it? It is. It is the areas. So, oh. like, there's there must be some sort of way the loading works. But I noticeably, like, speed up when I go onto, like, the route next to Sand Gem versus being in Sand Gem Town. Like, I'm notably faster on 201. Hmm. Something about the way the emulator is running this game. I've been having speed up and slow down uh, all the time. I don't remember this being a thing uh, when we played Platinum for Draftlock, so. I don't think it was. It has yeah. something to do with something that was changed. Yeah, there's a speed up patch applied to this, so maybe that has something to do with it. I thought that only affected text and like menu stuff, but it could be uh, doing something here too. All right, so I also mashed through everything he said, and I didn't see it, so now I'm gonna go and catch a lake, come on. Yeah, so Lake Trio is a good starting spot. I don't remember, Magicians was this one? I don't remember if I had, oh wait, no, I know what I would name a magician any time. Fucking pen, and if I try to catch another one, tell her. Good call. Right? Gotta name it after bullshit. Still love that show. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, where's my... So we already decided who gets which legendary. I have to go to Acuity for Oxy. Yeah, Azelf is Valor. Which one's Valor? Oh, that one's Valor. <clears throat> I need to go delete some goddamn moves. Well, I, need... uh, I also need to do that because I ended up having to pile. I think I had to put strength on Typhlosion. Went to the wrong city. Yeah, like the, like it seems to me the emulator runs noticeably faster in smaller areas. Like I move really fast through the gatehouses between areas. <laughs> you know, he should have if like changing any of that stuff. He should have changed the trudging through snow speed oh, and made God, it super yeah. fast. I I'm not going to lie. The the snow and swamp mechanics in Gen 4 actually damaged my opinion of the game. At least the swamp is only in one spot. I mean, yeah. that's fucking ridiculous. Right. It's just Safari, which is mostly optional. Right. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't think you had to go far into the swamp to do the bomb stuff. Yeah, well, it's also the route next to Pastoria City, but it's not oh, too right. much of it. Yeah, I feel like you can avoid the majority of it. Okay, there's Azelf. So, uh, I wrote down the uh, legendaries into the spreadsheet just in the order I looked them up. So we'll just stick to that order for the nickname themes rather than do the order we decide to do them in here. Because we'll probably mix and match anyway. Uh, quick ball you, maybe? You want to cooperate, little Azel? Uh, well, I saved a state inside the battle and that may have seeded it already to whether it was going to catch with a quick ball or not. Yeah, because it's doing two shakes in and out every single time. All right, let's see if Crunch kills this idiot. Where was I supposed to go? Uh, so you are getting Mesprit. Mesprit is Verity. Okay. Is that is that the one by the starting area? It is. Okay. Verily. You need to go talk to Rowan in San Jim Town first, which is also right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that the same place I'm going? Not I have no status effects. They'll catch this either. Well, 
before he does Oh, a... it has rest. That's actually good. Yeah, he's doing an amnesia, but this should still give him... Yellow. Yes. Okay. And he's paralyzed. That should help. Now get in the damn ball. God. Oh, doesn't want to get in the damn ball. How about an ultra ball? Let's try that. Oh, why? Uh, that was pretty... Because we know what the hell's going on here, that was a pretty skippable bit of information. Like, hey! You know, uh... The most relevant thing is, since the shenanigans that you pulled up on Mount Coronet, all kinds of crazy rifts have opened across all of uh, Sinnoh, which is basically your hint, like, legendaries are here. Yep. Yeah, like it was our fault and not Cyrus's. Right. I don't think he... Rowan didn't infer that. He's, he's fine. Well, I got it paralyzed and down to the red, and it's still just popping out of shit. God, you know, I've been fine all goddamn night, and now all of us can't stop yawning. This is cool. I love it. I <laughs> know it rested. Yeah, like that. Apparently I need to do that. I'm going to end up killing this on a crit, but it's fine, because we just repeat it. Yes, to be clear for the video, um, this has been discussed previously, but we'll discuss it again here. Uh, these catches are essentially guaranteed for us. Deaths don't count, because this is not a boss fight. And by our rules for missed encounters, not punishing the whole group, we can repeat these to try and catch them. So I'm just going to basically burn all my Pokeballs, and if I don't catch it, reload my save state. Um, that's my plan. I'm going to do a save state before I enter the fight, so I can just pick quick ball reloads. Yeah, I'm just trying to do it legit for some stupid fucking reason. Safe state before the fight would have been a good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I probably would have tried to do what you did I too, Joe. I believe you can just kill it and redo it in this ROM hack. You can also run and then. Uh, oh yeah, that that usually that usually does it. Oh my god, this is why I also I never use legendaries, because this is not fun gameplay. <laughs> what were you expecting? Very little of what we've done this run has been fun. Plenty of it's been fun. Speak for yourself. Okay, well now we dropped his defense, so he's just going to fucking die eventually. Um... Alright, I'm loading this. I ran, now I'm in. Taking a save state. Going to run around a little bit to seed things. Now he's in the red. Yeah, he just does not want to get in that fucking ball. I'll leave and I'll re-enter, talk to him again. Hey, I got him. Buddy. Good right. for you. It only took almost all of my desk ball. When you could just do one quick ball. Okay, this, this row them. is Garrett nicknames. Got a good nickname theme for a bunch of little elf fellas? Or lake themes. Uh, Lord of the Rings. There we go. That is a good one. Hmm. You know, there's no reason to be that far away from the city. Well, no, nah, let's see. Let's... All right, I'll name my dude Gollum. Yeah. Wow, you just ain't about that life, huh? The fucking thing just does not want to get in the ball. I'm gonna sneak up on this one, like a rogue. And you know where rogues do it from? Behind.
I'm also going to go ahead and add this guy to the party, uh, boxing the Sinnoh starters or something for now. I don't really give a shit who we, who we have on our catch teams. Now you tell me. For this. This is, it's, the Soul Link is a formality right now. Just catch your mons. All right. Bold. Plus defense minus attack. Fucking sick. Give me that shit. IV check. 5 HP, 10 attack, 26 defense, 11 special attack, 3 special defense, 8 speed. Oof duh. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But it'll have to do. He's still a legendary, so. Weird getting the hyper aggro guy with like really good defense. With what? Really good oh. defense. Actually shook. I think the internet's just fucky because also, yeah, Jesse's just cutting out again randomly for no reason. He is. It wasn't, it's did, not as constant. It just did it again there and I caught it. When I left and came back in Discord, did that help? Uh, you could technically say for a while, I think it did, but now that we've been on it for like, you know, an hour, it's, it, it's only done it once again so far. So we'll see. Okay, well. Yeah, this moveset is not the best. Damn, this thing does not like quick balls. This one doesn't want to fucking get caught in anything. I mean, I uh, reloaded but... again and just kept hucking. Alright, uh, dogs. I'm gonna go do my dog next. Gooey Coon is Route 213 with Rock Climb. Where the fuck is 213? Mm. Check the map. Oh, it's literally also right here. Well, that's convenient. That baseline. I guess, since my music is on the recording, I probably should minimize the speed up I do. I'm also, I'm the only one who's got the legendary so far, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've am i thrown several fucking hundred balls at it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even go back to buy more balls, so I'm just gonna reset on this one, probably. Uh... Man. Yeah, this thing is very allergic to, uh... Quick balls. I'm getting different levels of shake, so it's not locked into anything. I don't like it. I don't think I've gotten more than zero. Pretty sure I ran away the fuck past where I actually need to be here. Fuck. I was not getting different levels of shake. It was always popping out uh, right. after one shake. There was a two shaker right there. Oh. Just got a two shake on there. Wow. Fucking got him. He used like fucking 30 ultra balls on it. The Reggies aren't going to explode. Kind of. Oh, <laughs> maybe I would have wanted. To. Well, I mean, if they can explode all they want, if I'm just doing the safe scum version, which. Yeah, I yeah. No, it looks like Explosion's a level 1 move for them. Oh, right, because if you run into these guys in a fucking randomizer, this is from base game, they will explode. Because <laughs> it's level 1 Explosion, it's not even a hidden move, it's just their first move is Explosion. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing Saruman for mine. I almost I went with Saruman for the wizard theming, but I decided just Golem was always my favorite, so... Neutral yeah. nature, so... They look a little golem like. Yeah, so it's not bad. I threw the red chain into the rift. Interesting. I wonder, are these all. I assume these are all like three catch rate, right? Probably. 
probably. You gotta decide who gets the master ball. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you little prick. So, uh, Reggie and Sui, or Re the dogs and the Reggies are threes. I'll check the, uh, the elf fellas. Trouble this guy doesn't have an ice move. <laughs> Try a new save slot. And that's, I don't, so I don't have to keep running in like I've been doing. Yeah, and then the other dudes are catch rate three, and the birds I'm pretty sure are three. So I think everything's catch threes. Right. What, what are the birds you flat out did cut out there again? Oh, that was probably because I was leaning away. The birds are probably threes, too. Yeah, threes for sure. Everything's a three <laughs> no, you, catch across the you board. You cut out to the exact same spot, and I doubt you were leaning away that time. No, I wasn't. I'm just going to leave. That's what. And, and come back. I, I don't think that's <laughs> what the thing is. I, nah, I don't know, man. Okay, I need to go to 208 to get Raikou. Wherever the fuck 208 is. 205, 206, 207, 208. That's a zero again. I'm testing an interesting theory here now. Oh, Jesus. Of, uh, what? The dogs have calm mind <laughs> at this level doesn't do anything for what we're up to no but it is it is uh a threat mm. i wonder joe if no he does have blizzard i've gotten three zero shakes in a row now since the new state mm -hmm. i wonder if it's save you were you didn't even fuck up i wonder if it locks him into something as soon as you enter the cave because it's feeling like that for me right now yeah, I left the cave because I was wondering about that, and it seemed like it was doing the same number of shakes no matter what. Yeah, there's zero shakes again. That's four in a row. One can only... Hey, uh, do you guys know where I can buy quick balls? Uh, I'll check. It's late. I mean, we know that, so... I'd maybe check uh, the never mind. Check the snow city, because that was that's the... Okay. Has them. All right, that was a one... That was a one shake, so there. that's my theories out the window and that was just that it locks the state when you go into the cave which that's reassuring that it's not the case yeah it shouldn't be um I, I didn't think so but you never know with this thing because people typically save in front of these legendaries for shiny hunting right and repeat them over and over again yeah right yeah huh? you know what? i know what the problem is i'm not throwing my luxury ball he wants in the luxury ball that's the problem He's holding out for the good one. I get it. He wants a fucking spoiled. begging strip, dude. No, nope, that, that didn't work. They want to be spoiled. Also, no no genders on the watch what you're saying, the asshole. He should. Or wait, you're on the dog now. The dog. The dog dog, dog is also gender. ungendered. Yeah, because they can't. They don't want to be bred. But all dogs are good yeah. boy. That part, that is true. That is completely true. All right, we're just going to use up all our ultra balls here, and then we're going to reset. Oh, three shakes, you fucker. Ooh, I wonder if uh, this is going to be up a waterfall, and we can't do that until we get uh, Volkner defeated. Uh, no, I see a portal here. Wait, waterfall? We, we have your dog waterfall. inside what are you talking about? We can't use it outside of battle, though. Yeah. Until we beat Volkner. Didn't we use it for the... To get the way me and Jesse got to Distortion World? Nope, that waterfall uh, is upside down, so it doesn't count. No, no, yeah. no, not that one. There was one in uh, the cave. I could have swore I went on that thing. Didn't I? I'm pretty sure I tried because I, I came here and I wanted to see if I could go up those waterfalls. All right, I found my... Oh, I caught two again. I didn't even water. notice. <laughs> you caught... Oh, my God. I just looked away and caught him in an ultra ball. Classic. Bullshit is what it is. Uh, Dogs are... 
Joe nickname theme. Um, things that aren't dogs, because Raikou is not a dog. <laughs> that's that's the naming scheme. Uh, no, but it'd, okay. be, it'd be funny if it was. I I took it completely at face value. I started writing it down on the spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can be that. No, <laughs> narrow it down a little bit more than that. That's things that aren't dogs is insane. Like we're not going to be able to <laughs> say those and know it. Animals that aren't dogs. Okay, that's something. I guess because the problem is we're also going to start. We can't just say the legendary trio when we want to pull this group out. So what do we say? The legendary dogs? Because then that's the whole debate. Yeah, that's just fine. I mean, I'll know which one we're talking about. I'm probably honestly going to keep calling these the legendary dog trio. Same with like the lake trio. Um, so a non-dog animal. What non-dog animal do I think a Suicune is? <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to name mine like Thylacoleo or something. Yeah, I, my mind is immediately going to extinct uh, critters as Ex well. Extinct things that are very similar to dogs. Yeah, maybe I'll just go with the classic Kenner Lysenops. There you go. Oh, Raikou has Aura Sphere. As my Sharpedo found out to his peril. Okay, let's uh, fix the music here, and let me actually get the name in better. Oh, that's a funny thought, is like you talked about uh, the, the shiny hunting. What if I eventually hit shiny as I keep, because I'm save scumming? <laughs> then you create um, a save state and start chucking regular balls. Right. That may actually happen to me, because I'm, actually I got two shakes that time, so it is different for me this time with Raikou. All right, Reggie Steel. Reginald Steel is his full name. Iron That's Island. That's star, hundred percent. It's gotta be. If it's not, I'm calling dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, at some point, we got a red chain, and that is what we're using to lure these That's, not dogs out. That was Cyrus gave it up at the end of the fight with uh, him, and before you deal with uh, that Gir Giratina. Ah, uh, I see. Was your catch actually with the luxury ball, Jesse? No, no, no. That would have been cool. The yeah. the luxury ball didn't even shake. Ooh, plus special attack minus speed Suicune. Okay. Uh plus special attack's nice. Speed boss not so great. Ivy's 20 HP, 10 attack, 27 defense, 0 special attack, 4 speed def, 19 speed. Damn. Yeesh. I mean it's a uh, 27 is nice. 20 is above average. 19's above average. But uh four, zero special attack kind of sucks. <laughs> Nature kind of balances it. Surprised it oh, took him that long to use thunder. All right, Saruman, you come out and stand here while I throw shit at this dog. Cat. Cat dog. One fun day with a wolf and a purr, baby was born and it caused a little stir. Oh yeah, uh, so for the Reggies, this is for the benefit of the video, uh, we need a Relicanth and a Waylord, and there's nothing we can do about that. So everybody gets one for the, expl the explicit purpose only of uh, catching the Reggie. So these are still legal encounters uh, outside of this moment. Um, but yeah, we'll be we'll be using them here. We'll be using their bodies for our own foul purposes. Pokemon hunting. Ah, uh, thought he caught him and he didn't. That was two good shakes. 
get the two good shakes. These all have to have horrible catch rates. Yeah, they're all they're all like threes, which are one point four percent or something. I, th I I assume so. If you throw an ultra ball catch rate two, I assume that means that your catch rate is like two point eight percent or something. But I don't actually know if there's if the calculation is more complex than that. That quick ball actually shook twice. That made me happy for a while until it meant nothing. I've, I've only got one uh, three shaker this whole time. Damn. The quick ball saves coming is kind of no longer feeling like the strategy at all. Like it's just not going anywhere. Yeah, that was so taking forever. So I. Uh... I'm just hucking ultra balls now. Yeah, that's what I did from both of mine. Is I got it in battle, I got it low, and then just spam clicked balls at two x speed. Balls, balls. I'm in. I mean, I'm in increased speed. That part's not the case. I just, uh, I just went increased speed for efficiency of tossing balls as fast as I could. No, I, and I get that, but I'm just saying, like, I'm also using increased speed. It's not like I'm ignoring one of the tools oh, given to me. I, I understand now. I see where you, I see what you're stepping in. I see where you're yeah, coming so from. Yeah, so I'm safe scumming and increasing speed. It's still taking this long. Jesus. I'm going to fall asleep at the fucking computer at this rate. This is unreal. This man's going to fall asleep at the wheel. Get up here, sleep at the wheel. Get Jesus, up, take, the take the wheel. No, Jimmy Pop, take the wheel in my end situation. Because if man is five, do you have timer balls? Six, then that must make me seven. Do I have timer balls? I, I, I guess I yeah. Either of you. That, that's my a my only one uh, on. The fuck did I even use it on? Oh, um, on the wheel lord. Yeah. I just oh, bought that's... some in the steel town because I'm going for the Reggie steel. Um, that's an option too because those get really good after twenty turns or whatever the fuck it is. I could also just start chucking dusk walls here if I wanted, because I have 18 of those. Yeah, I, I burned all my dusk walls already. Not I, all of these are in caves, are they? Just the elves? Yeah, but it's also night out. So you say. Now it's almost become a little bit of like, I go until I get the shiny and that's the one I sit on and catch old fashioned. Right. Okay, complete the Distortion World events, enter the Iron Island room, lean to the exit above the ledge with a Relicanth and Waylord. What? Oh, like at the very end of the dungeon, I think. Yeah, okay, I get this. Is there a shortcut? Dungeon master. Or is the exit solely like jump back down? It's solely jump back down. I actually have to navigate the whole goddamn cave. Alright, fine. Where are the repels at? Jesus Christ, you belligerent motherfucker. It keeps teasing me with this uh, almost getting caught. Oh, I think Mine's this is not even all, side. Mine is zero, and zero shaking more than anything else. This was not the right choice. It's like milk. You can cheat for Master Balls. I think it's fine to do so. It's too late now. Yeah, can cheat for Master Balls. I don't remember Already how to. Bastards, so. I don't remember how to do any of that stuff we did, and I, not. Was it another program or something? Like, uh, ugh. I don't remember. You did you do in a save code edits? For the rare candies, didn't you? I don't or, remember at all. Did I have you open up PK Hex? Because that's an, the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I remember but less like do... talking him through PK Hex, but I don't know if we ever actually finished it or not. I use cheat codes originally, but I use PKX now. Like, I figured out how to use PKX and everything, so. If I were to do it, I would do that, but. I probably used PKX, I don't know. At this point, I don't so see tired. a reason to bother. I should have drank that coffee. I should really should have. Well, you this. drink milk, because it's a good choice. This episode's I I halfway over in theory. <laughs> I already drank a lot. I, I just got a gallon of milk. Cause oh, cause when we were lambasting, or lambasting, uh, quick trip, 
one thing I was going to throw out there was uh, that I did pick up a gallon of milk because I'm out. And uh, it's Monday, so that means it's on sale f a whole roast chicken day. Oh. I love Mondays for that. Cause it's How a much do you get a whole roast chicken for? Five ninety nine. That ain't bad at all. No, because normally they'll have them on other nights, and but they're like eight ninety nine those. So it's like a couple bucks off whole roast chicken. It's roast chicken, so it's a lot better for you than a lot of the other stuff they have sitting out there, like ketchup burgers and stuff. So that still is not a bad price. I eight ninety nine for an entire chicken with the inflated price of chicken, artificially inflated. That has nothing to do with inflation. Oh, they. I mean. When it originally went up, they had their they had a reason, but mm. that reason is long since gone. It was the the freeze in uh, Texas and the, the southern states. Right. Like the farms got fucked over, and that's what slowed eggs and production things down. And they, that was legit. That's what happened. Like there was legit shortages because of pandemic and the Texas freeze. So like, uh, but the only thing that truly got shorted was uh, real chicken stuff like wings and things like that like chicken nuggets and chicken strips and you know reconstituted and, and, and non-perfect non-ideal segments were fine because they had plenty of that still frozen and left but yeah and thank you for the encouragement fry i seen that but i'm too fucking tired to acknowledge it that's how that's how bad of a streamer i am but i'm gonna get me this shiny elf if it's shiny, I'll probably name it Galadriel. If it was shiny, I don't think I'd be able to tell because I don't know what colors these things are. Me neither. Uh, you can army RKO me into gravy, you dirty old man. That's I like, I don't know why I needed a Super Troopers reference there, but... It is one of my favorite references from that movie. And I like a lot of Super Trooper references. <laughs> it's like back in my day, we used blanks and we made the rookie dress up. Mac, you're, or you're a sick motherfucker, Mac. I should almost add, that'd be a, a I'd be tempted to add that to my, uh, list of things you can spend my lures on the stream on because i got mitch hedberg quotes i got kevin smith quotes i could add like broken lizard quotes although i fear most people don't know that the super troopers guys comedy troupe is named broken lizard right so it'd be it'd... well then they don't deserve a quote do they or or they go for it and not realize it oh there we go fry coming through it's like it's like i was tripping in the woods on acid because me and my buddy, we thought, if you're in the woods, you're much less likely to run into an authority figure. But we ran into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and my buddy's like, st standing there, raising his right swearing to prevent forest fires. He got out of the woods, he turns to me, he's like, Mitch, Smokey is way more intense in person. <laughs> oh, Mitch. I'm always, during my job, I'm always so tempted to like break into the kind of shit I do here on the streams, and all I can think is like, no, I don't know how well Mitch quotes, or my Mitch impression, or especially my perfect cell, or anything like that's gonna be received. <laughs> so Mitch, I, I think enough people would get it. May, he's been gone for a long time though, man. People who like him, like they would get it. And also, I mean, there's a level to the Mitch impression that's also in the mannerisms, too. It's not just the talking like I do, because I don't know how many people would pick up on that. I did miss a golden opportunity, though. <laughs> that's fucking awesome, Fry. Although, Fry, with your voice, I can see where you can get away with it, because... The Nappa already is just kind of like a gruffer version of your voice. Like, Fry's already pretty close to it, to what uh, Takahata does for that, for his Nappa. Like, it's not strictly that, but I could see that where people wouldn't, like, 
quite catch on that you were putting like an extra layer of raspiness to it and like that you were getting into the Nappa mode. Like, I will say this, uh, my coworker that you were talking mm -hmm. about earlier, Joe, with the Photoshop, or shitty, intentionally shitty Photoshops, mm -hmm. um, I am really mm -hmm. looking forward to that, because now that we've wrapped up all our summer stuff, uh, our next big promotion is pretty much Halloween things, and I wasn't working there last year, and he was saying that they, that's when they get to have a little fun with some of the ad production, so I'm thinking, like, I can bust out some of my voices for some advertisements. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, Jesse, I'll, I definitely want oh, Jesse Fry, uh, Eric. I can be, I'm, if I get to do a an on air advertisement using the Perfect Cell or any of the or, <laughs> or or maybe not so much Perfect Cell, maybe more so Alucard, like voice. I am definitely going to be showing you guys that. Because right that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, uh, I got my Reggie. Uh, for the Reggies, that's my nickname theme. We'll be doing movies. I'm naming my Reggie Steel Terminator. Okay. It works as a movie and a person. Or as an an individual, an entity. Right. A, 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 co a combat line? What? what? <laughs> yes. It, it is both a character and a, a designation effectively okay. by virtue of like you know the terminator is a particular terminator yep and the other ones being like the t1000 is terminator 1000 kind of thing short yeah, right? yeah yeah yep the t1000 is a different model of terminator oh my god this little fucking fairy type Right. It's like it's like it can perceive the ball I'm gonna throw at it as if it could read my mind or something through some sort of intangible brainwave thing. It's like it's psychic. Yeah, weird how that oh works. Oh my god, I caught. <laughs> <laughs> that actually shook twice. Finally, I've been throwing ultra balls at this Raikou in the red for like ever. He doesn't want to catch it emotion Pokemon just been toying with my fucking emotions this whole time. Uh, what's a good one? I'll go... So we have Saruman and Gollum, huh? Yep. <laughs> I could be a, just a son of a bitch and uh, keep going with the bad guys theme and just name my mouth. Like the mouth of Sauron? <laughs> yeah. No, I won't do that. <laughs> the fact that it's just named Mouth is funny to me. So you should do that. No, I because I want I want to be able to remember what the naming scheme was, so when we call it out, I can be like, oh yes, this is the thing I need to look for. Oops, I threw a quick ball, and I did not want to do that. Plus attack, minus speed oh. on Terminator. I've got some good fucking natures. Never mind, I do have a perfect... Oh, actually, the Reggie's attacks are pretty split. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I went with, I went with Smog. On, uh... A fairy type seems very appropriate to name after a dragon. Yeah. I like it. Technically not Lord of the Rings, but we know what you mean. <laughs> right. Yeah, sorry, I should have just went Tolkien. I mean, uh, we get small references plenty in Lord yeah, of the Rings. Yeah, they, so. they might. His name might be in the book somewhere. I don't remember. Alright, do I get good ivs yes more or less 4 hp 21 attack 8 defense 29 special attack 24 special defense 10 speed three ivs above 20 that's pretty good where where do i go for the entei all right entei 
Route 211 East. Rock climb is needed. And you're looking for a celestial toilet. Oh, that's oh, okay. Wait, 211 East? Yeah, I only see here. one 211 next to. Oh. Oh, yeah, so it'll be by Celestic. Yeah. Celestic one, okay. I think I still have all my crap, so it, it's fine. What if it's that rock climb place I went to last time? It is! Yatta! Actually, no, this is a Calm Mind user. Nice. What what cry do you hear from there? Anti. That's phenomenal writing, Drayano. <laughs> it's like Who it's. Could it be? <laughs> it's anti. Anti. <laughs> what kind of porn do you like? Anti. You could name him hentai. <laughs> What's our theme? Oh god, it's just not cats. No, I'm, I'm not. No, it, it's animals that aren't cats. Animals, okay. I mean, if you would let me go with my original theme, you could have <laughs> I mean, there are certain types of hentai that involve definitely not cats. Well, <laughs> in fact, there's some that involve girls that have cat ears. I was just thinking you name it Mr. Hands. <laughs> Mr. What? Mr. Hands. I... My body is ready. What kind of sick degenerate stuff, Joe, are you involved? Um, well, I mean, I just, I remember the early internet, and somebody brought up Mr. Hands just the other day on Reddit. I have no idea what that is, sincerely, though. Oh, a really? guy got fucked to death by a horse. Actually, oh, it, it was this, um, oh, I guess wait, he was no, like no, no. a congressional staffer or something. He had some job at the White House. And uh, him and a group of other people would go and rape this horse pretty much uh, regularly until one day the horse fucked him and blew his asshole out and killed him. Okay, now that you talked through the... <laughs> per that was pretty appropriate. Now that you tell the story without the name... I do remember, but I guess that is probably one of those that you just attributed to early internet uh, myths that, like, yeah, yeah, everybody talks about how, like, the various sick pictures that are out there that I've yeah, managed and it to easily not could have been, life. But I, I guess it turned out to be true, and the shocking thing was that it was somebody who worked in the White House. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's it... thousands of people that work in the White House. Right, but... right. <laughs> Jesse, calm down. Jesus Christ. That's not actually the sound I was talking about. Oh, which uh, one's the Jesse? I, 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 I'm embarrassed to say I uh, got some a, a Jesse orgasm uh, recording. I mean, I doubt that's exactly what it is. Wait, was that it? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, play it off like it's not you, Jesse. <laughs> okay, what is it actually from? <laughs> it's it's uh, some guy who uh, a while back uh, would do uh, animal voices. <laughs> is that supposed to be a horse? Put out recording? No, it's supposed to be a pterodactyl. Oh, oh God. Okay. <laughs> if, he, if he says so, um... <laughs> it, was, it was played first on one of my favorite podcasts. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's a no. great. It's a great it's, song. It's clearly still pretty amusing, but yeah, it's definitely not a horse. What podcast is that, Aaron? <laughs> uh, that... Talk, talk radar is from my college days. Is is that the horse that uh, 
was the end of Mr. Yeah, Hands. That's the guy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's that's the sound finding, it made as it killed him. Finding yep. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know what sound this horror I only know the sound it makes when it kills him <laughs> how's that for an old <laughs> meme reference steel will be rock what coverage do I need on a steel type if I'm going to try and sweep with it ooh shadow claw ah <sighs> We're not doing getting him into the red then. I'm just gonna keep I mean, loading, seriously. throwing quick balls. That's that's one of the things I always wondered about is like, when I became old enough to realize what that stuff was, like how did they think that like you know what we should name one Pokemon a two like basically a one letter difference from hentai? <laughs> like who thought that was gonna Plot. like that was a good idea it's like two it letters was, isn't it you, you miss the h yeah. though i guarantee if you put an h at the end of that of entai's name and do a google search you'll get, oh, yeah. get some results you'll get some ente hentai it's probably, it's probably pronounced differently but... it's pronounced ente i know yeah. and i said it right earlier but then now i had to make the joke i've leaned into it but it's it's just more of how it's written out. And I'm talking like early yeah, search engine you're, you're stuff. You're taking a very American view of J Japanese language. Here. Freylock said no, it's hentai. <laughs> <laughs> it's I have butchered languages for my entire life and I ain't going to stop now. I butchered languages like I butcher uh, deer and let's see what else have I field dressed. Deer, squirrel, uh, rabbit. Uh, turkey. That, that guy that one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I donate blood all the time. What blood? Some guys. <laughs> did, did Fry, Fry posts out on the in the Discord and then deletes. <laughs> Stand by your, uh, not delinquents. Um, he posted Mr. Hands. No, dear God, he did not post that. I would actually delete that. No, he just posted the word, it's hentai. No, I seen it. You don't have to post it in the channel, Fry. I'm not, not giving you shit about that. I think it's funnier Ray that you Locks deleted it, it actually. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. I hadn't even thought about uh uh whatchamacallit. Uh what's what is that voice to speech? Is that it? Anybody else hear that? Yeah, I voice mean, to text, but when you... yeah, or voice to text, or text to voice, other way around, right? Oh. Text to speech. Yeah. Text to speech. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, we got what you were saying the entire. Yeah, time. yeah. that's why I didn't but... correct because it didn't matter. Well, oh, not wasn't... correct. Just like nobody, uh, like confirmed either. Like, don't I Google Ente hentai. <laughs> I was yeah. I'm we more... could have told you that we were talking about how don't do that. And how that was going to be damaging to... Oh, wait, no, I have a better one for that. Ah, the return of the Y bonus. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, there's always the classic um, uh, fanfic. Uh, I believe it's called a Pokemon story. I think yep. that's correct. If any, I'm not if, familiar with this famous fanfic. If anybody read Topless Robot, the blog, way back in the fucking day, 10, 15 years ago, whatever yeah. the fuck, they used to do that's Fan amazing. Fiction Fridays. Oh, God. Which would be, like, essentially mst 3 k a fanfic. Oh, that's... That's wi that's worse than I thought. I guess that'd be kind of funny, but I thought it was just people that were out there and found, like, the worst fanfics they could find and posting them up for people. 
Yeah, so it's basically one example of the worst fanfic you could find, and the poor, poor guy had to read through them. Uh, a Pokemon story, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, was like Gardevoir smut. <laughs> of course it is. Is there any other kind of Pokemon smut? And do not yes. answer that was rhetorical. A lot. Vaporeon? <laughs> and yes, I'm familiar. The meme has become a meme. Yeah, self it's, in it's, uh... Feo's Discord. We're just. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, not not because nobody has to do anything besides post like an emoji of Vaporeon and everybody's like, ah. Oh. There's a bunch of people who are super fucking pissed that they can't <laughs> think Vaporeon's their favorite Pokemon anymore without getting looks. I get <laughs> it. I understand. Nobody's sexualizing Scyther, so I'm fine over here. <laughs> right? You, no, no, no. There's a rule about that. Yeah, no, there is definitely. <laughs> Derek, you want to do some more Googling? There's definitely some something out there. Your algorithm. Uh, I'm going to get my Route 220 whatever encounter now. 222. Okay, I'm, I'm still, I at least got past the uh, the mess script, but now I'm stuck on it. Uh, All right, I got my electric type. Flaffy. Hentai the hentai. I've been throwing balls at this fucking Raikou for an hour. Yeah, okay, it's... All the luck fell on me tonight, I guess, because you guys are having a rough go of it. I mean, we're trying to catch legendaries, what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, I got all three of mine in the box already. Move, relearn, and everything. I'll put something in your <laughs> box. Listen, uh, don't make promises you can't keep. <laughs> Not at that distance, at least. <laughs> This is going to go on for another 15 minutes tops, and then I'm cheating to get Master Balls. You guys call me Little Pitch 10 or 15 more times, and I'm <laughs> out of here. Uh, there's I got something, something I have. semi-related. Well, it I, just reminded me of that, so I'm going to post it in your Discord. I, I, I did play a Ska set tonight. Because we have, we have um, mighty mighty boss tones in rotation, but I also have access to real big fish, so I'm like, I'm gonna play a two song set, on, between the news tonight, and it's gonna be ska themed. Because then I played real big fish before uh, the news segment, and it's like, hey, here's a, <laughs> here's a song from one of the greatest sports movies ever made, basketball. Hey, I, it's one of my favorites. I wasn't lying. So, uh, this is actually my nickname theme again, because this was the first one on the list. Um, so, I think I'm going to use the one that I had in my back pocket that I haven't had a good opportunity to use before we run out of opportunities to use it, and it's going to be Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. As in, specifically Ninja Turtles, not characters from Ninja Turtles. Oh. But you can use any of the secondary turtles that have cropped up in other oh. forms. Oh, I was going to say, you can use any of the turtles as long as it's one of the main four. I believe there's seven now. I was reading this like a, two weeks ago or something. Because there's the one from the live action show. Yep, that was the girl one that was yellow, I yeah. think. I, I don't remember what her color was. And then there's there's a new one who's somebody who got like, who is like an adopted sibling because they got like morphed into a turtle or something. And then I think there was another, like, long-lost sibling or something else that came up. That somehow also had ninja training. I got morphed into a turtle once. It's true. I was there. Yeah. Oh, I think the I think the live-action one, yeah, she's, like, also blue, but a different shade of blue. What, sh what shit that is. Yeah, she's, like, light blue instead of Leo's dark blue. Jenica is the yellow female from the comic book. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was way off. My, mine's a male. Otherwise, the yellow would really match Ampharos. Oh, you three shaking fuck. Almost got him. <laughs> uh, apparently, there's actually 12 Ninja Turtles. What the fuck? Aha! Do they count Slash? Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, they're counting Slash. 
it fits, and I, I hope he's probably my favorite, because that's a snapping turtle, right? Yes, he is. Yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with, like... I don't know if I'm going to use it, but, you yeah. Know. Depends it's on what the hell I can... You. What are the things we can catch somewhere that you found here? Amphir uh, that's the new route towards the final gym. That's to the east. Just, it's 222. It electric or something? No, it's it's like half electric in the grass. It's electric. Do, 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 it is the quote-unquote electric route, but there's a bunch of other encounters. Right. Um, Yeah, so Jenica the turtle was a member of the Foot Clan who then got mutated into a turtle by Leonardo, saving her life with a transfusion. And then she joined the turtles. Seems legit. Well, oh. she's just laying there dying. Oh. You could be like, well, we might as well try putting turtle blood in her. <laughs> I'm not talking about on the Ninja Turtles or anything. I'm just talking about people seeing a lady dying on the ground, and there's just a turtle hanging up there too. Yeah, there's a fu there's a future turtle thing that just came out, which is like four new turtles. Ah, uh, they did a time skip. Huh? Odin, Yi, Moja, and Uno. I believe that they're. I read this. Their names are all one in different languages. One is the loneliest number. Yeah, because I think it's a sequel to, like, um, a Turtles comic following, like, the last surviving Ninja Turtle um, out of the original four. Which, I thought that was just Ronin. Yeah, yeah, the... It's, the, it's the last Ronin. La yeah, so last Ronin, and this is, like, the sequel to last Ronin. Yeah. They're not color-coded. I hate it already. I mean, that harkens back to the OG comic. Oh, were they not color coded or were they just black and white? They were not color coded because they oh, did okay. they did uh, maybe like color covers or something for that, and they all had I think yellow bandanas. They were all red. Red? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah red. Right. The Michelangelo is the last Ronin. Violent Teen plus or adult in nature, they were violent. <laughs> Wait, were they an adult in other ways or just violent? Well. uh... There was some Donatello uh, and Raphael stuff. No, I'm kidding. Oh no, I was gonna think more likely of uh, like uh, Casey Jones and April O'Neil or something. I don't know. I never read too much of the comics. I just I heard about them and that they were more adult oriented or whatever. And I checked sure. out the first few. Right, yeah. true graphic novels and like yeah, with a bunch of uh crime fighters with fucking swords and shit what would actually be happening yeah because it's a it's a mature satire of those types of comics that's the original I, conception of it ah see i didn't know that yeah I, I am not gonna pretend i'm anything more than a kid that had the late 80s tmnt like i believe the comics show. play it straight but the concept is created as a satire Oh, no, okay. the TV show was made yeah, to sell exactly. toys, and it fucking worked on me. Oh, yeah, me too, for sure. It worked on every kid. Like, every uh, kid yeah, I think it was basically, let's come up with the silliest, like, comic idea we can do, and then do it completely straight-faced and serious Great. and gritty. So, uh, does anybody have a strong emotional attachment to any singular one of the Ninja Turtles? No. Not strong, no. Okay, then I'm just gonna take Raphael for the red, because Ampharos has a red gem. Not, never was a Raphael boy anyway. I was always Donatello. I never yeah. really resonated strongly with any singular one. I kind of just liked them all. Quick, quick history lesson on teenage oh, comics. Shit. I, I, I have all of them and I read them like religiously. So, <laughs> you read all the Ninja Turtle comics? Yes. Respect. Um, it starts out really, really dark. Like. Shredder gets decapitated in like the first fucking comic. Nice. That sounds then, about right. Like, they after, should have like, done that to that motherfucker on the teeth. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, his his, his death in the fucking live action movie is pretty goddamn gnarly. Yeah. 
after after like the fifth or sixth one, apparently. it starts getting really weird. Like they start changing like, the artists and like the storyline. Like it's not like episodic storyline. It's like kind of like original cartoon for like each each comic is its own story. But like it's more of an anthology then is what you're yes, saying. Yes, yes. There's like it's like number seven or number eight. Like the whole comic is about Raph on this farm. And he gets abducted by aliens and hangs out with cows the entire time. Well, that's pretty in line from, like, some of the goofy shit I remember the games and stuff doing. Like, that, you know, the anthropological, or anthropomorphic dinosaurs and stuff like that, you know? Oh, no, these, these are just, like, literally, like, he's just hanging out with Wisconsin cows. Oh, no, I'm, I get that, but I'm just saying, like... The, the video games went weird places, it seemed like to me. So that makes sense the, now in retrospect, because they were just like, oh, the comics get fucking weird, let's get weird. Yes, the the 80s show follows the comics, but more kitty-related. Like, they, mm. they dumbed down things. Like, the Triceratons were in the original, the, the Utonians were in the original comics as well. And so, like, the 80s TV series is, like, the kid version of the comics essentially yeah was it was krang a new character for that i know there was something major no. that was like a new invention for the show uh i, I do dimension x was in, introduced in like the first like 20 comics and that was before the cartoon was aired or, or was it that krang was a complete throwaway character in the comic book and then they made him a main villain of the show i believe that's the big difference yeah I think that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, in other news, I finally caught that fucking cat. Hooray! <laughs> As I almost, I got three shakes on the Entei, or Entei, now I'm doing it accidentally. Um, and well, that would have been amazing if I caught it as you did yours. That have been... uh, but thank you for the history lesson. Oh, also, in so Krang in the comic book is an alien race that looks like brains. Krang in the show is some other thing that got turned into a fucking brain. Oh. So they, like they, they fully retcon his origin. I'm reading yeah, the Wikipedia cool. article they, right they, now. They usually, with every reboot, they change Krang's origin oh, yeah. and they also change Splinter's origin. Yeah, I know that Splinter's been flip flop back and forth between being a rat and being a person originally. Oh, I never knew that. That's interesting. Yeah, I yeah, legitimately the, don't the even cartoon, remember which one's first. The cartoon, the cartoon, uh, the first cartoon, the '80s cartoon, had him as a human, Hamato Yoshi. Who got oh, because yeah, rat. yeah, because he knew Shredder in life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then the, okay, the okay. live I remember the live action for sure that he was the rat first because yes. I remember the little rat practicing karate in the cage watching yes, his, his that, master that is, <laughs> yes that, that's closer to the comics than than the cartoon okay yeah because I think if I if I'm not mistaken a lot of little details of the live action movie are closer to the comics than the cartoon y yes the the live action the first three live action movies are closer to the comics than the cartoon Interesting. With with very minute changes like TCRI and TGRI changes. Well, now we know who to go to for the turtles lore. Right. Yes, I <laughs> I have a lot of it. Would you call yourself a bona fide turtle boy? Not anymore. Just just the the knowledge part. More like a historian. Okay, but you you have you have Rugrats of your own. So, have have you gotten to check out the brand new Turtles movie? I watched it myself. Okay, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty bona fide to me. So, yeah. but I was gonna say, what were your opinion? I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard pretty good things. What do you think of it? I thought it was a good reboot. Nice. There was some things I didn't like, but it's like the art style and their choices of characters. Those are things you liked or didn't? No, I didn't. I April bothers. Hmm. The only thing I care about April is like red hair, yellow garb. 
That's and reporter. That those are the only three things. And the live action Michael Bay shit couldn't even get that right. No, in the got new like one, one out of like three. A, in the new one, that she might be ginger. I don't remember, but she's she, like, I, she's ginger in the trailers. It's more subtle though. Yeah, she's. But she's not ginger. She's a redhead. She yeah right. She's a redheaded uh, high school student who's like in charge of like the school newspaper. Which is, it's on point, I guess. I mean, I don't know how much and what she is in the comics, but those are like the things that I've always felt should be, I'm, I've been glad to see her consistent across most adaptations. I feel like one of the CGI ones all f***ed it up too. The, the CGI one takes place like years after the third one. Well, there's multiple CGI ones. I'm not even necessarily oh. sure if I'm thinking of one of the TV shows or the movie or you know what because I, I one, haven't followed them there's, there, I think there's only one CGI Turtles movie okay but there's shows though too right that went CGI there's one okay. yeah there's been was just I think two modern quote unquote like Nicktoon shows or something if I'm not mistaken yeah, there was two Turtles reboots that were owned by Nickel. Okay. Both were unique and different in their own ways. It's kind of cool, actually. I enjoyed them. Yeah, I've heard good things. I've never bothered to check it out myself because I don't care enough. But what's uh? How oh? What, how old are we doing on time, Jesse? I mean, we're in an hour, but um. So we could go a little while longer to keep trying to get these catches, or we could try to do a second episode. It's up to you guys. I mean, there's no guarantee on what these catches are, when they're going to happen, man. Right. This is, ab I mean, this is full and pure crapshoot, so. Yeah, it I'm doesn't ready to see. call it, and I'm fucking tired. So. Okay. Well, then we can continue on here next time. I I'll, cannot uh, guarantee my availability for next Saturday. Okay, we can uh, always it's, it's, schedule it's, another. Yeah, I, I'll know more Saturday during right. the day. I'll stop the recording once we get your last ball in here. Okay, that's. I mean, that's what I told her. 